Well, hello, everybody. This is Street Outlaws No Prep Talk. Today, we're going to talk about lockup torque converters on No Prep Kings Racing. Now, please subscribe and comment. Photo credit goes directly to their respective photo owners. And stay tuned for a lot more videos coming this year all about No Prep Kings, the Street Outlaws OKC show, and Mega Cash Days. So, lockup transmissions or lockup torque converters. We've been hearing about them on No Prep Kings Racing since Season 3, back in 2019. Now, back then, some of the Nitrous Racers, such as Kai Kelly and Lizzie Musi and Doc, swapped over to this setup to enable them to run a lot faster out the back. That is why Kai Kelly was running around, I mean, driving around a lot of the turbo cars and Procharger cars back then. Some of the other turbo racers, such as Ryan Martin and Big Chief, also utilize this type of transmission. Basically, a lockup torque converter eliminates the slip that a regular torque converter has. Usually, it's between 4 and 8% on a drag racing setup. And basically, goes 1-1, one one, like a clutch. So, almost all of the power that the engine is producing at the crankshaft actually gets to the tire. Now on an Atrus car, where you're very power limited to the top end power, you're only making 3,000, 3,200 or so at the crankshaft on a 959 cubic inch Atrus motor, they really picked up out the back with a lock of transmission. When you're making 3200 at the crack and you actually can use most of it on the tires or actually make that at the tire, that makes a huge difference when you're running out the back on an eighth mile. I mean, you're going to pick up five to 10 mile an hour. Back then, Kai Kelly actually said that utilizing the lock of transmission from Mark Mickey, he picked up a tenth on the eighth mile. Now, Ryan Martin himself, even though he has a twin turbo setup that makes 4,000, 4,500 plus horsepower, he also ran a lockup. In his case, he has a very heavy car. He had to weigh 3,050 pounds. So with a lockup, he could run a lot faster out the back and actually turn it on pretty early and run a respectable number to the 330 for a turbo car. Now, this season, there is a weight penalty for the lockup transmissions. You got to weigh 100 pounds more if you're on a lockup. A lot of the guys running Pro Charge Hemis are not going to run this setup because Pro Charge Hemi will make 4,000 horsepower, 3,800 or so, and they prefer to run the car lighter, which benefits a blower car a lot. Now, Ryan Martin might actually run a lockup transmission on his Pro Charger setup. I know Jack French with the Jack Hill car is actually going to run a, a lockup as well. So it's definitely going to be interesting to see with this weight penalty how these combinations run. I know that the Nitrous cars are definitely going to run it. So let's stay tuned.